do a, just a real basic saddle cut. This is a cross piece for their oil field pipe that we're putting in. Um, you'll see here that I've drawn this uh, this line to orient the the top of the pipe. There's a corresponding one down on the far end of it. So I take my template and I'll line it up over that mark and press it into place. And then with a soapstone, come in and scratch it into that groove, working my way all the way around. And then to get that template off of there the easy way, use your pin wrench for your grinder and just put it in there and pry them out and that'll keep you from tearing up your other tools or hurting your fingers. making the cut with the grinder to do this uh, saddle and you see here on the on the piece that we cut off you can see how the edge is beveled coming down here and looking at the actual pipe I didn't realize it's covered with the metal fragments right now but if you look that bevel kind of follows the inside of it and that works real good for fitting it up against the the upright and with the exception of these little spots right here at the bottom where the grinder kind of overcut a little bit, for the most part there's no unnecessary cutting and it makes for a real nice and tight bond when you go to weld it up. All right, and what you wind up with is a saddle cut that's reasonable. It's not beautiful, but it's it's all right there. And uh, the nice part about cutting them with the uh, cutting wheel as opposed to the torch is you don't have to knock the slag off of it and it's not hot so you can work with it right away. I got to give a shout out to my buddy Howdy Fowler, the American cowboy legend. He's the one that suggested this to me. I had been cutting them all with a torch or with a plasma cutter and he told me to try the cutting wheel and I did and it works out pretty well. And uh, I've got, got my work cut out for me here got several left. Cleans up pretty good for old rusty pipe. I left a little hole right there, but be easy to fill in. Y'all take care. God bless.